number one. What better place to choose than Majula is a really cool place. It's where all the NPCs come, it's where you can level up and buy spells from certain people. It's also where you can join the Coven of the Blue and Champion's Coven. And also that view is just astounding. Okay, so this is number two, and it's Hyde's Tower of Flame, and it, it's just, it's two bosses, it's home to the old Dragon Slayer and the Dragon Rider, two of my favorite bosses in this game, just the way they look and act, but it's also one of the most coolest places to come. And when you first start the game, you can choose to come here, the Forest Forgotten Giants, I would choose here. Okay, so the third one is one of my all-time favorites, the Iron Keep. I just love the way it looks. The red gives you that eerie feeling when you first get here and all the lava. And plus, the Iron Castle just looks amazing and all the walls surrounding it. It's just really cool. Spot on from software. Love that. Number four. Okay, I forgot to edit out the cuts in the loading screen, but... Alright, Aliam Lois. The first DLC I played is absolutely beautiful. I love the snow, I love the castle. I wish they would have put more places like this in the original game, but this is just amazing. The, the way it looks and the way it feels when you first get here is just, it's awesome. Had to put it in this list. Number five, Draglet Castle. I didn't get enough footage of it outside because I didn't want to have to fight for everything, so I'm just going to show you this inside this hallway here and show you how dark and eerie it looks on the inside. And then this is also home to the last night a trip to fight and the dual dragon riders. And that is my top five coolest places to be in or coolest places to me in Dark Souls 2. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe for more content and leave a like for more. I'll see you.